I think Christmas time kind of lends itself to being a cozy time to read and enjoy a very good book, and in particular, a very Christmassy book, something that will put you into the holiday spirit and the holiday mood. So today I'm here to share with you guys some of my recommendations for Christmassy reads. <music> Hey guys, it's Samantha. I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm very excited about today's video. I've decided to give you guys some Christmas book recommendations. Some of these books I have read, some I'm in the middle of reading, and some I anticipate reading this holiday season, so I figured I might as well share them with you guys because you also might be interested. So, let's get started on my selection of Christmas books. The first one that I want to recommend is Home for Christmas, Stories for the Young and Old. This is a short story collection of Christmassy stories by a variety of authors. I've only read a few stories from this collection so far, but the ones that I did, I really enjoyed. I found them to be very heartwarming and very festive for this time of the year. It has a variety of different themes to the stories, so you have some that are about giving and just the joys of Christmas and things like that. So it's a very heartwarming story collection, and I've really enjoyed it. Inside, there are woodcut illustrations which I thought was pretty cool. So I enjoyed this one last year. I didn't get through all the stories. I didn't anticipate doing so this year and I figured that you guys might like to hear about this one too. The next one you guys I'm sure will have seen in my videos a few times now so far this year but I am very excited about it. I'm actually in the middle of reading one of them and it is these Penguin Christmas Classic Editions that look like this. They all feature fun little cardinals and glittery snowy covers and they feature a variety of authors and Christmas stories. The first one I have here is The Night Before Christmas by Nikolai Gogol. This features a classic children Children's Christmas Tale from Russia and the Ukraine, which apparently according to the inside flap is still read to children every Christmas Eve in Russia and Ukraine. It features a tale of the blacksmith, I think it's Vakula? Let me look here. Yes, Vakula and his battle with the devil. It is humorous and it takes place, I believe, on Christmas Eve and it features the two battling against each other over the village, his village love, as well as fighting the devil who has now stolen the moon and has hidden it in his pocket. It sounds like a fun little story. It's supposed to be kind of humorous and heartwarming and also adventurous, so I'm excited to read this one. I'm actually in the middle of reading it right now, and so far so good. So the next one I have here is A Merry Christmas and Other Stories by that wonderful author, Louisa May Alcott, the author of Little Woman. This features some of her Christmas short stories as well as some of the excerpts from Little Woman that take place at Christmas time. From my experience of reading Little Woman and her other books, she definitely is able to capture the essence of Christmas and the joy of Christmas, so I very much anticipate reading through these myself. The last one I have by Penguin is A Christmas at Thompson Hall and Other Christmas Stories by Anthony Trollope. Anthony Trollope was a 19th century English author, and this includes many of his Christmas short stories that he wrote during his lifetime. I have never read anything by him, so I'm very much looking forward to reading this. And I also really enjoy reading Victorian Christmas stories, which brings me to my next author, which I'm sure you were expecting in this video. And of course that author is Charles Dickens, and not only Just a Christmas Carol, but all of his other stories. This is actually an anthology that I found at Barnes & Noble. It includes all of Charles Dickens' Christmas essays, stories, novels, everything. And I, some of these I haven't ever read before, and I am very much anticipating it. Some of the ones, of course, I do recommend is, of course, the classic The Christmas Carol. My family and I actually used to read this every single Christmas Eve. Since the time we were able to read on up, we were expected to read chapters from it. It was one of my favorite Christmas traditions growing up, and as such, I have fallen in love with this story. He definitely is able to capture the meaning of Christmas Christmas in the story very, very well, I think. Some of my other favorites by him are The Cricket on the Hearth, A Haunted Man, and some of his Christmas essays. And there are some in here I've never even heard of that I am very much anticipating reading. And by the way, you guys can find these online just by looking them up. Some of the ones that I'm anticipating reading this year that are new to me include The Battle of Life, which is one of his Christmas novels, which I have never read before. Some of the other Christmas stories I have never read, but I am looking forward to reading are The Child's Story, The Schoolboy Story, Nobody's Story. Seven Poor Travelers I have read, and it's actually a very nice, heartwarming story. I've never heard of The Holly Tree, so I'm excited to read that one. And then, of course, there are a few others in here. And also included in this collection are Christmas stories by Wilkie Collins, which I thought was pretty interesting. I enjoyed Wilkie Collins' The Woman in White, so I'm excited to see what he has to offer as a Christmas story. And his Christmas stories are The Wreck of the Golden Mary, No Thoroughfare, and The Lazy Tour of Two Idle Apprentices. So there are definitely some new Charles Dickens Christmas stories and essays I am going to be delving into this year and hopefully you guys will be too. Love Charles Dickens. I think he has a way of capturing human nature and he really, really got Christmas, which I think is fantastic. So I'm excited to read these new ones by him or new to me because he's dead. So they're not exactly new, but you know what I meant. All right, guys, that is it for my Christmas book recommendations video. If you've read any of these, you'll have to let me know what your thoughts were on them and which one of these you're excited to read if you haven't read any of them. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and happy reading. Bye!